My name is Christian Sjursen, and I will be talking about my PhD project under the title Designing for Aesthetic Experience. Digital representations of artworks changes the way art is being put on display. It also opens up for new exhibition formats where the relationship between artwork and audience that has earlier been dictated by the white cube paradigm can be challenged. This project is co-financed by the IT University of Copenhagen and the Munch Museum in Oslo, Norway. John Dewey writes in his book, Art is Experience from 1934, about how art experience is a part of everyday experience and how it is a continuous doing undergoing between the body and the environment. I'm particularly interested in his idea of aesthetic experience and his distinction between expressions, that is what art does when it evokes experience and statements that merely point at experience. I'm also basing my research in post phenomenology and aesthetics of interaction. I use a constructive design research approach where I develop concrete prototypes, uh, which undergo continuous evaluations. I will be talking mainly in this presentation about my current project, Poison, which is an art experience that I'm creating together with the Monk Museum, which is trying to establish a relation to Elvert Monk's artistry without original artworks and by using expressive media to tell about the series of paintings known as the Green Room. I'll show you a brief video that will give you an idea about how we imagine the uh, exhibition. Uh, note that there is no sound, but you should imagine a soundscape that establishes sort of a dark and unsettling atmosphere. When you enter the experience, you will first be met with a poem that sets the scene that this is not your ordinary art experience that you're stepping into. You pass by a mirror image of yourself before your uh, figure is translated into a 3D avatar that follows you into this space where you are surrounded by, by projections on three sides that show your 3D avatar in one of three green rooms. These green rooms reflect reflect themes from the paintings, the Green Room series about dark and poisonous feelings, about parallel rooms, about avatars. And they are continuously changing, moving, uh, escaping perception. Um, and as you step uh, out of this experience, you walk past a large projection of the monk painting, The Murderers which is part of the series. And you will be presented with the rest of the series, as well as the text that contextualizes the experience you just have in relation to Monk's artistry and the Green Room series. We have been evaluating this uh, prototypes of the experience with non-frequent museum visitors, museum club members, graduate students in aesthetics, an internal expert group and an external e expert group. And some of the interesting findings so far is that people seem to accept it as an authentic monk experience. And many appreciate going in blind, being able to make sense themselves of the experience they have. Many of the museum club members noticed that they sort of appreciate the intellectual closure at the end that the text and contextualization provides. And many say that they want to do two rounds, uh, an extra one after they have, uh, they're able to see the experience in a new, li new light. Still, we have some open questions. For example, how can we resolve the aesthetic experience so that it effectively conveys the themes of the paintings? And, whether the uh, audience will be immersed and captured by the experience. Thank you.